Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Now, tell us what logical fallacies are. Um, logical fallacies simply are mistakes in, in your thinking or mistakes in your reasoning. Um, broadly speaking, there are two types. First, there are formal fallacies. Um, now, the basic structure of any argument is the syllogism, premise, premise, conclusion. We want our premises to be true and we want our conclusion to follow from our premises. I'll give you a silly example. Um, all real rabbits are living creatures. My husband is a living creature, therefore my husband is a real rabbit. Okay? Both of the premises are true and the conclusion uh, doesn't seem to follow. Why is that? <laughs> well, because there's, a, there's actually a mistake in the, in the formal structure of the argument that, that needs to be fixed. Now, for the man on the street, this can have maybe some implication if you're reading um, books that try and make a specific argument and you can draw the argument out. It's handy to have those. I think what comes in, uh, into play for us more often, though, are the material fallacies. These are fallacies of language, and we are bombarded with them just all the time. And so these would be things like um, not defining your terms well. So, for example, um, equivocating on certain terms. I think this is what's happening in the debate on um, homosexuality when we talk about nature. I think those of us who hold more of a traditional view of nature means this is what we are. We don't get to choose it. Whereas I think those of more progressive idea think that we get to choose it because that makes us free. And so when we use the word nature, we're not re even really talking about the same thing. And so there's equivocation. Or for example, a straw man argument. If somebody says the um, argument for the existence of God um, from, for example, the, the Kalam, um, doesn't work because it says everything that exists had a cause, um, the universe exists, therefore it has a cause. Well, that's a straw man. That's not the actual argument because the actual argument says everything that begins to exist have, has a cause and so on. And so um, it doesn't fall foul to the objection, well, who created God, for example. So um, we've got to be careful that we don't misrepresent people in our arguments. Then there are also um, fallacies, for example, ad hominem attack. The atheist Christopher Hitchens, none of his arguments follow because he just had a wretched life. Okay, that, that's just a really bad fallacy as a Christian. Um, I should be held accountable for that sort of thinking. Christopher Hitchens' arguments don't stand and fall by the way he lived his life, but by actually whether they were sound, whether the premises were true. And so um, those are material fallacies. And it can actually be um, quite liberating to be able to pick these up in the writings of the day, in um, what we hear around us, what we see around us, to be able to point these out and to say, here is why I don't have to believe that there is a fallacy. And it can also be very humbling to find those within your own thinking, of course.